in this video we're going to look at some of the top sandbox tools for analysing malware. In my previous video we looked at OSINT tools to help you find people and if you haven't seen that then click the banner above because on this channel I regularly review different tools like the ones on screen to help you find and access hidden information. But before we get into it just remember that everything is for educational purposes only. Right let's get straight into the first tool. Anyrun. Anyrun is a cloud-based malware analysis tool that allows you to conduct dynamic and static research of most types of threats using any environments. You can essentially execute, analyse and visualise the behaviour of malware in a controlled environment. And once you visit the link, you'll be presented with the page that you can see on screen now. And once you upload the malware, the tool will watch its behaviour and report it back to you. So as an example, you can see things like file changes, registry modifications and network communication. You can also see submissions by other users, which is what you're seeing in this live map at this moment in time. We can see statistics for the last 24 hours and who has been submitting these in terms of countries, the United States being the highest at 38% and what the tags are in terms of what's being looked at. Just by hovering over, we can see the breakdown per country like Spain at 101 and we can click into any of these just to see examples and once you do this you can see a breakdown per submitted submission and where what type of environment they were done in. We can see that which ones are classed as malicious and which ones have no threats detected and also click into these to see what happened once they were submitted just like we have done. Once you do this you'll see a live demonstration of what has happened in this sandbox once it was submitted. We can play around with this or look at the details that have been provided to us on the right hand side. We have a breakdown of IOCs, processes and we can also restart the submission just to see how it interacted in the first place. There are other integrations like ChatGPT as you can see on the right hand side. So there's lots to play around with and lots of information to get from it. It's a really useful tool and I recommend you check it out and make your own submission just to see how it executes in the sandboxed environment. Next up, we then have a tool called Hybrid Analysis. Here is another cloud-based service that combines both automated and manual analysis techniques to provide insights into the behavior and characteristics of potentially malicious files. It will basically analyze a file before and after execution to see how it reacts, which is all done in a sandbox environment, just like the previous tool, so you aren't at risk. To find threats, it uses a signature-based detection to identify known malware and variants, which basically helps in terms of quickly flagging files that match patterns of previously identified threats. And looking at the home page, which is what you'll see once you click the link, we have a place to submit a file or a URL, report searches where you can do IPs and domains, and many others. So as an example, I'm first going to pop in a URL here, as you can see on the screen, and hit the analyze button and once you do this, this will then prompt you to make sure that you know what environment you want this sandbox to run this process in. So you can easily go through a number of different ones. So we have Windows, Linux, Mac and Android. And you just need to select which one will be most useful for you and then resume the processing. You have different types of options that you can go through and play around with. So like I said before, head to the link and make your own submission. Just to give you another example of the analysis that it can do, we're going to put in an IP address that we have. We'll paste that in and click search and then you can see how quick it was and it ran different types of submissions and the first one's been marked as malicious in the Windows 10 environment and we can see it's achieved a threat score of 100 out of 100 with AV detection at 8%. We can go through all of these, the dates and times to see when they ran and what results were achieved but we'll click into the first one that's marked as malicious just to see what information we've been given back. And once we do this, we can see an incident response section. Here we have a risk assessment, so we can see the network behavior. It contacted one host, which we can dive into. We can see the MITRE attack techniques detection. We also then have a list of indicators in terms of malicious indicators. We can see the sample was identified as malicious by a large number of antivirus engines. And then we can look at suspicious indicators and more ones that are informative. So it splits them up and you can then prioritize what you need to look into. And a really useful feature here is the screenshots. So we can see exactly what was happening when this executed. 
and then we have a breakdown of all the 29 processes here that we can dive into the network analysis the countries contacted and the http traffic so loads of information here that you can dive into if you're trying to analyze malware it's not just something straightforward you do kind of need to know what you're looking at here to make sure you understand it but there is a whole load of information it's not something that you just need to skip over you really need to know what you're looking at and it will give you detailed information so i highly recommend that you check it out then the final tool that we have is joe's sandbox and obviously the name gives that away that it is another sandbox tool so what we have here is a malware analysis platform that provides an environment for dynamic analysis of suspicious files so this can include monitoring for changes to things like the file system registry network traffic and other system level activities this sandbox specifically specializes in analyzing network traffic generated by the malware so it helps you understand communication patterns and potential command and control servers it will also take screenshots along the way so you can see any visual changes and once you visit the link you can see that you can choose different architecture for your analysis so windows mac os android or linux and then you have a section where you can upload your file or url you have the option to choose just different analysis systems so we have win7 native we have 7.3 we have win 7 times 64 there's many different ones that you can have a go at and you can select up to three at once then you have the live interactions and results so you can see the live interaction and you can toggle with the settings and then all you need to do is accept the terms and conditions so it's really straightforward when it comes to submitting that for analysis and once you're happy and you've submitted it you'll get a fully detailed report of the findings that you can go through so it is really good for analyzing malware and getting that report and there's different ways you can ask for that report in terms of json and many other formats hopefully that's been useful for you and if it has please do leave a like on the video it massively helps it out and i'll leave a link for my discord community where we discuss different tools and just talk about cybersecurity in general